She has made it, with no much surprise, the first far-right Prime Minister in post-war Western Europe will be a woman. Giorgia Meloni has claimed victory in Italy's election and is on course to become the country's Prime Minister. If we will be called to govern this country, we will do it for all Italians, for everybody, with the goal of uniting these people, of stressing what unites rather than what divides. Because the great goal that we have always given ourselves in life as political force was to ensure that Italians could once again be proud to be Italian, be proud to wave the tricolor flag. From the very first estimates, published last evening, the results seemed clear, and it only got sharper as the night went on. Giorgia Meloni won the Italian elections with 26% of the vote. Her party, Fratelli d'Italia, is by far the leading force in the country. Therefore, for the Conservative coalition as a whole, it will enjoy a comfortable majority in Parliament. I believe that the result of the Allies League and Forza Italia is a life insurance for Giorgia Maloney. I believe that Giorgia Maloney will be much more malleable in what is posed towards the formation of the government and therefore in the allocation of offices, ministries and because of this great victory of Brothers of Italy, which allows Giorgia Maloney to be inflexible on the level of the government's agenda. This morning, in Italy's kiosks, all the headlines were about Giorgia Meloni, and people woke up with different opinions on the party's dramatic success. Let's see, she has to prove that she can live up the role and she has to prove that she can represent all Italians. Finally, we have some change, because let's say, it has been a few years since we had a change. Finally, we voted someone new. The moment she has been waiting for all her political life has finally arrived, and her victory will not be without challenges at a time when Europe faces very hard issues.